Well, this did not age well. Nothing's really overly bogus. Kim Kardashian losing 16 pounds to the Met Gala. We're gonna talk about it, but I have to give a little bit of background context because I am in a pickle. <laughs> Four weeks ago, I decided, you know what? You're going for surgery, Kelton. We're gonna batch some videos together. We're gonna pre-film some things, pre-edit them, so you can take two weeks off YouTube, recover. What did, what did I film? <sighs> I filmed a video of a testing Kardashian weight loss health products. They're a relaxed and healthy body. They're quite lovely. No. <laughs> Well, this did not age well. Yeah, so I pretty much spent a lot of the video like applauding them like, yes, they used to sell detox teas and waist trainers and all this, but they stopped it. There was no more detox teas. There was no weird supplements. They've moved on, and you know what? I love growth. And so I gave them a lot of applauds. <sighs> So no, I can't just mindlessly post this video where I'm saying, look, they haven't talked about weight loss in three years. As Kim Kardashian headline is like, unrealistic weight loss, restrictive diet, crash dieting, and then me here just oblivious being like, hey, this is gonna be a hybrid video. So buckle up, team. So I'm gonna talk a bit about the Kim Kardashian, my thoughts. There's many angles, it is confusing. Well, we're gonna insert some of the funny clips because I unboxed absurd things from Kourtney Kardashian's website, Poosh. And you know what, it was too funny. It's too funny to just delete. It's gonna be a hybrid, so bear with me. I had surgery two weeks ago. Maybe I'll give you a preview of my boobs. Can we do that the compromise? <laughs> Is that fair? I'll flash my tits and then you guys will forgive the chaoticness that will be this video. I gotta be real with you guys. You look like clowns. Oh, I love the Kardashians. Big Skims fan. Big Skims fan. Kim Kardashian, 16 pounds, three weeks. I'm going to start off right from the bat. Three weeks to lose 16 pounds is pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time not realistic. What is realistic weight loss to do in a healthy way? One to two pounds a week, depending how big you are. The bigger you are, the bit more weight you can lose. 16 pounds, right there, we can be like, mm, no. Biggest reason, you crash diet, throws your hormones out of whack. You want to do slow and steady because the slower you do it, the more likely you're not gonna wreck any of your hormones and that's how you can maintain weight loss. Plus just lifestyle factors. What's in the box? Colorful LED beauty. Oh, is this one of those infrared things? Boy boyfriend's gonna come visit me for the first time in months, thinks he's gonna see his hot sexy girlfriend. He's gonna see this. You can play hockey with him. <laughs> Doctor Doctor the dark. Dark. I was born. <laughs> 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 right, I've got to be silent. But imagine doing that and like your neighbors looking into your window. <laughs> oh god. Ow, ow. Do I look 18 again? I'm not on teen diet. This one was tricky because the more I looked into it, the more I started to kind of want to defend Kim Kardashian. Yet I'm also here being like, I would never defend someone crash dieting to fit in a dress. First, yes, if it was any other dress, if a designer came up where they were gonna design this dress for you, you have to lose this weight, you have to fit into this. There's a quote going around saying, it's like, you shouldn't have to change to fit in the dress, the dress should change to fit you. Yes, I agree, but this is, this is the one in a million situation. <sighs> I'm almost scared to say this because people are like, how'd you ever come up? She has been quoted saying, fast, she'll do anything for fashion. That is her, her form of art. There's many forms of art. There's fashion, there's movie, there's literal paintings, there's music. And as someone who would classify themselves in like the artist world, like I do music, I, I like to think of these as many little movies I make. I understand that passion of like, you guys have seen what I've done on this channel for videos. There's a dramaticness to art. And she's been quoted as saying, she'll do anything for fashion. And she was given the chance to wear Marilyn Monroe's dress. Oh my God, that is iconic. I associate it with someone like playing a role. I don't see it as classic clothes. Like this was not a situation of like me fitting into this hoodie. This was a moment in history. And it made me start to think of more of a Christian Bale, Matthew McConaughey, I think Jared Leno, who've all lost like 40, 50 pounds to fit a role and they are praised. Oh, they're so passionate about their art. They're willing to put their bodies through that. And they go through like, yes, what she did was bad, but it's not like she's going to weigh in like this insanely low body fat percentage that she could wind up in the hospital. From my outside view, I was like, this is not healthy, but it doesn't look like she went so far that we're like, someone get her on a ventilator right now. Versus those guys kind of did and they were applauded. And then suddenly a girl does it and we're attacking her being like unrealistic body expectations where I kind of was like, you know what? I think she thought of it more of, she just got divorced from someone who's seen as like the God in fashion, Kanye. 
and she's been so passionate lately it seems to be about like making her own name in the fashion without him i i, I don't know i maybe it's because i just consume a bit more kardashian content i just always am skeptical anytime i see a headline i was like hey let's dive more into it so first first is just like crash diet i was like hey why and i started to be like you know what she wants to prove herself in the fashion industry and she got the opportunity to wear marilyn monroe's dress at the met gala like that is that is fashion that is the epitome now you can also clear the battle be like kelty fashion is kind of bogus <laughs> It's a bunch of rich people parading around this event in wacky clothes. And you know what? If that's your opinion, I applaud it. Because art is subjective. About EMS training. I've done it. I did it for a couple months. But the idea is, in layman terms, it makes your muscles contract a ton. It's actually used a ton in older people and people with injuries. You use EMS training. It can help engage the muscles and prevent muscle loss. But now people sell it as like, oh, you don't have to work out. But if you think this is all you need, no. Do you feel anything? No. Oh, oh, oh! Feel anything? I'm uh, only my right arm. This one? Just this, this one. This is right. This one. Oh god, look, look at it go! I'm it's making my hand flick. <laughs> I'm not flicking my hand. It's just compulsive. You don't feel anything else? No. Oh, oh, now my tricep. Oh, now my. Ah! You got your abs out? <laughs> my oh, you hand. can see your arms ah, twitching. Ah. Okay, so this one's just a twitch, and these ones are sh sharp. These are sharp. I think ah, we have them all ah, in different ah, settings. It just feels like literally needle, needle, needle. Overall thoughts, this is not a, a lovely experience. Um, I, I mean, like, if you're bedridden and you can't engage mm -hmm. anything, but I'm pretty sure wearing this for an hour is not as effective as just doing 30 crunches. <laughs> okay, get this one off me. I'm actually <laughs> gonna have nerve damage. But then I go on the flip side and I think of anyone with severe EDs. It, it's tough because she says it and you don't know who's hearing it. And the reality is anything you say is gonna trigger someone. I probably already said something that triggered at least one of you and I'm so sorry if I did because I love you. Thank you for watching. But the reality is we don't know what's gonna trigger someone and what's not going to. I just think if we put ourselves in the shoes of someone with a really severe eating disorder and they hear something along those lines of extreme weight loss, the sad reality is that can be triggering because there could be this almost, I, I'm not gonna have talked too much about it, but inspirational it becomes, which is heartbreaking. But if someone is in that situation, they're recovering, it's almost like, it kind of gives you the idea of something that is possible, almost like, oh, could I do that? Could I lose that weight? And it, it, it adds a glamorization to weight loss and an extremely unhealthy weight loss. So that's where I'm like, oh, it's heartbreaking. As much as I defended Cam, I was like, you know, it could have been as simple as a comment, hey, I did this for art. I would never normally do. This is unhealthy, I plan to put the weight back on. And you know what, for all we know she said it and that just part wasn't included in the interview. Okay. XO Play. Silicone massager. Helps ensure a relaxed and healthy body. This cordless therapeutic massager emits powerful vibrations that release tension. Ah, I was really worried this was gonna be a vibrator. <laughs> is it a vibrator? <laughs> Don't you oh, ever... Yes. Put it in your mouth? Never! Okay, so she's very much uh, a cordless hand massager. Okay. She's hand. not a vibrator. Just for your hand? Uh, no, cordless wand massager. Oh, but like hand So it is, a, it is like a Theragun, Theragun idea, but she very much gives off different vibes when you look at her. And this is gonna be the thumbnail, like. <laughs> no need for a boyfriend. Mind blowing. Does not come with clean sheets. Good vibrations, big bang for your buck. People are obsessed. I mean, it's pretty. It's, it's, it does not compare to a Theragun, but testing it, if you used it for something else, this, <laughs> I think this would be lovely. So saying she went on this diet and it could give someone the idea to go on this diet and that is toxic. But then I started to think that way. And then I completely flipped it around and I started to think, well, at least she's telling us. Because I think one of the most toxic thing that happened in media and culture was about 10 years ago. And I do not blame a single model for doing this. It was just at different times. The classic, you know, we talked to Victoria's Secret models because they were the epitome of about a decade ago. You'd ask what they dieted for the show. And they'd be like, oh no, I eat cheeseburgers and pizza and all this. And I just look like that. And there is, there is, as someone who, falls into like the skinnier category. I get it, there's some people who are just tinier. But 
there was a lot of like, I have a shredded six pack and I'm this tiny living off pizza and burgers. And then I feel for girls who are on the bigger side and are trying to get to healthier body weight through weight loss. And they're like, hey, why don't I look like that from eating pizza and burgers? That would be so confusing. Uh, so I think to any younger girls who don't have an education on nutrition and that, that's so confusing to be like, why does this Victoria's Secret model look like that eating pizza and burger i'm over here eating salad and rice and chicken and veggies and i don't look like that like that that's confusing so at least she at least she was honest whether she knew it or not she, she's gonna get ridiculed for that and then you hear the whole this that's why the kardashians are the kardashians because they take this controversy and we're talking about i made a whole video about it no i made a whole video about it and trashed it so this is actually two videos in one something looks different Usually I'm the smart one of the family, but like, like, what? I can't figure it out. What? You look, how do I say this politically correct? She looks as flat as a board. See, that's incredibly inconsiderate. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd my boobs go? Sorry guys, I got rid of my boobs. I'm, I'm so incredibly proud of you. How the hell am I supposed to get free drinks anymore? Question. Let the doctor throw the implants. I can chew it. I'm not to chew it. I'm not to chew it. All jokes aside, I am 11 days post-surgery. And what have I drank every single day? Athletic greens. Primarily for me, if you didn't know, I gotta be on antibiotics. And antibiotics destroy your gut microbiome. I think like, I'm gonna butcher this, but like one third of the like, healthy gut bacteria is destroyed from antibiotics. So the last thing I want is bloating, digestion. So what did I do? Take athletic greens every single day because athletic greens actually has 7.2 billion SFU probiotics. So yeah, it's your prebiotics, it's your probiotics. It has so many vitamins and minerals because post-surgery for me, that's why I'm just like worried about giving my body everything, but also my digestion is off. So eating a ton of fruits and veggies would hurt my stomach. So I actually normally I just take athletic greens like once a day, but I've been taking it twice a day just because I'm like, I just want more of the goodness in me. And that's why I love it is when I'm traveling, you guys know, I'm not getting my fruits and veggies. I have my athletic greens post-surgery. I want to be supporting my immune system, getting all my vitamins and minerals, my pre probiotics. So what do I do? Take athletic greens. And yes, it's expensive, but it's not because I could take 50 supplements or I just take one high quality NSF certified supplement. I know I'm getting it and just, you know, I just want to think too much. It's got it all, it tastes good. I pretend it's a matcha and I drink it and I'm happy. You guys have heard this before. And of course, as always, I got a deal for you guys. Go to my link down in the description and when you order AG1, you get a year supply of their vitamin D3K12 and five free travel packs. So if you're like me, you're traveling this summer, you know you're gonna be having a little too much fun in the sun, you get these. It is a game changer for your immune system and it's gonna support everything you need to just optimize your performance every day. So once again, Use my link down in the description down below. You'll get your vitamin D3K12, your five feet travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. AG1, thank you for sponsoring this video. And my stomach's happy. I don't look six months pregnant anymore after surgery. Success. There's not gonna be a pretty bow on this. As you can see, I have like eight different opinions because I see all sides. I see how this is toxic and encourages disordered eating. I see this on the other opposite side for this is art. Why can a man get away with this and not a woman? And she is ridiculed. But then there's so much with entertainment tied with body image specifically for women. And uh, I, I think the only way I can comprehend things like this and maybe this helps someone else, maybe it doesn't, maybe this is not a popular opinion, I don't know, is when I look at celebrities, especially in the last five, 10 years with social media becoming more prominent, I, I no longer look at them as the standard of what we're expected to live. I look at them as like a painting. Like, uh, <laughs> it's funny as that sounds like many years ago, you would sculpt something and it would be unrealistic, but it was kind of, it was just like an imagination. It, I think it was really confusing 10 to 30 years ago when the only, there was such a small window of who celebrity and entertainment was. There was a couple models, there was a couple singers, a couple actors and actresses. And like, that was all we had to look for. So what they painted and what Hollywood put this very specific mole is, is what we all thought we had to look like to be quote unquote beautiful. I think the blessing about social media, it's not perfect. It is far from perfect. But now suddenly it's just like anyone can have a platform. Every body size can be shown, every kind of diversity. It's no longer this one size fits all. It's like every size is beautiful, which is amazing. And I think we should just spend a little time realizing that and it's, this is kind of hard concept to even express. When someone like Kim Kardashian 
tries to fit in Marilyn Monroe's old dress that she can't tailor. I was like, that's a once in a lifetime situation. That's not an everyday. That's not me fitting into my prom and grad dresses. That is this one really niche, niche thing that happened for history and for this photo and for, it just, she couldn't tailor it. That was it. It was Marilyn Monroe's dress, she couldn't tailor it. The only way she'd get in is she will lost weight. And it seemed to be on short notice. And that's what I was like, that's not an everyday thing. And kind of separating ourselves from it and taking the pressure off. Cause I, I, I've said this a hundred times. She also had celebrity dietitians, celebrity trainers and all that helping her. We don't have that. I don't have that. I am even fitness channel. I cannot justify doing stuff like that. I hope we can get to a place where we don't see stuff like that and be like, oh, that's what it's expected of me. That's what we're saying should be. And then maybe celebrities will be a bit more open and we can realize like, you know what? That kind of sounds like hell. Is this one of those leg blower upper things? What? <laughs> I mean like the, you know, no, things you put no. on. Oh, I got so excited. Not. I was like, oh my God. Oh no. I hate these. I hate these with a the feeling passion. I'll explain this. Okay, these I actually do love. If you're like Kelty, you have an enemy in this the video game. Like Kelty versus <laughs> it would be this thing. The spike. Oh, there's a so on Poosh, that one's 60, well, a version of it's yeah. 65. On Amazon, it was only 32. Oh, nice. I guess the idea, it's kind of like acupuncture. Yeah, it's called it's, acupressure. So you lay on it, I'll show you. And my boyfriend loves this thing. Like he goes on every few days, he has one at home, and he's like swarming, he's like, Kelty, you have to try it. I tried it once, I was like, get me the hell off this thing. Oh God, I don't know what it is. Also, I'm very excited for my boobs out because like stuff like this, like the bands never quite yeah. fit. Actually, the giveaway for today, that's perfect timing, is I have a ton of Gymshark stuff that will no longer fit me. So I'm going to do a massive clear out of my closet. So you're gonna get like a full big bag full of Gymshark things. I wanna do this every few months for you guys just to make it, I do get a lot, but make it a little bit more sustainable with the stuff I get. What is your form of self-care? Comment that below. Hit the notification bell so you know you won and I'll email you and then we'll get you a whole new Gymshark wardrobe. It'll be like a full new wardrobe you'll get. Let's do this. For your entertainment. The love of my life couldn't get me to go out here, but you do get. <laughs> <laughs> People who do this regularly are like, oh my god, you're so privileged. It's true. It's true. I'm in a nice. <laughs> oh no, laughing makes it worse. <laughs> this one is gonna hurt way more. Where does that go? <laughs> I put my hand on it and it already seems like it hurts. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I deserve a thumbs up for this. You put a thumbs up this video. <laughs> this is literally, I'm not scared to box. Is this what you envision as like a bed of nails? Literally, oh, that, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Maybe like a, a some childhood trauma. But this is what nightmares are made of. Dear God, who hearts in heaven, I love you, baby. It's the only prayer I remember from elementary. Oh God, I'm, okay, that was, that was good. It was good. It's my bo boyfriend's birthday. Oh, perfect. On, on, so I'm just gonna package this up and give it to him for his birthday. Like as much as it sounds great to be Kim Kardashian walking the mech, knowing what she did to get that, that does not sound fun. That does not sound glamorous. And I think we are slowly peeling away of like all the glitz and the glam that we think being a celebrity is. We're like, ooh, that sounds miserable. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts down in the comments because it's one of those things I'm like, I don't really care. Even though I made a whole video about it, I'm just like, it, it was in the fitness world. I had this video, I was like, okay, I have to address it. I can see all sides and it really just depends on you. I think if you're coming from a side of someone who's had a bit of disordered eating, that's gonna be really harmful. If you come from the side of someone maybe who has been trying to lose weight, I, I hope you don't got inspiration for it, but maybe you're like, oh, okay. At least she's being honest. I hope no one looked at that and was like, that's what it's, it's expected of me. It was just like, wow, this weird situation. The world is weird now. And speaking of the world is weird, my channel's been weird the last few months and I addressed this in my last video and one of you guys had this beautiful comment. I, I've been doing this unbox series and I was like, I, I think I just needed a little break or something to fill the void between my challenges and maybe a little break from vlogging because I think I traveled for six months straight and I was like, I just, I just need routine. I just need to chill and talk. And I was like, but I thought chilling and talking, you guys wouldn't want that. So I was like, hey, how do we make it entertaining? Let's unbox things, let's make it exciting. And it, from the consensus, none of you guys like to be unboxing items. So I'll still try to do giveaways here and there, but the unboxing thing, I thought would be a fun little like segment in the show. Anyways, we're tossing that. What I thought, this might not be smooth, it might take a month and a half, two months to really fruition for you guys, but we can kind of see. 
I love my 30 day challenges. Some are extreme, some are a bit more wholesome, but we got my one 30 day challenge ish about a month. We'll just say 30 day challenge or document. I like to think of it as my mini documentary. Document, document, doc. Why can't I speak? Doc, you. Documentaries, docu, documentaries, wow. <laughs> Sometimes they're 30 days, they're just more like long term. And by only doing one every once in a while, I can really get like down and dirty because I hated doing like a challenge every week. So I was like, it's just very like blah and clickbaity. I was like, no, I want to like really learn. So we have those. Then we got like two fitness trends slash unboxing. So it's going to be a sit down chit chat, kind of like this. Hopefully now I'll think of some other more creative ways to make it entertaining than unboxing. So I, I love anything that just like stretches my creative juices that I got to make. It's like, how do I make that exciting? The unboxing, uh, we might still call it that, but uh, I'm not literally gonna unbox things, but I'll, I'll have something for you guys and then about a vlog once a month. You know, my, whether that be what I'm eating in a day, my workouts for the week, if I'm traveling, you know, working out, I'm going to Europe this summer, I got a really cool one with that. And that's kind of how the format of the channel is gonna be. Also, uh, another passion I kind of talked about before, I'm going to link down below for your guys' workouts. If you didn't know, I started my second channel and uh, every Monday I've been releasing new workout streams. So I've DJing for the last year. And so if you need a new workout music, link is down below. I think like, by that, like my little documentary, documentaries wow my little documentaries and music having those are like my passions like that is just like everything i want to be doing with my life and like the little talk show ask connection you and me are like the other three and i love that as well and if i'm doing all those three i feel like very satisfied as an artist <laughs> sorry this was the most chaotic thing i yes oh i promise oh oh my god i'm gonna phone call real fast oh Flash my boobs for you guys. Yeah, I'm flat as a board. I have a whole docu, whole, that's like the 30 day challenge of the month. I'm documenting my whole process. It is juicy. It is coming for you guys. Hope you have a great day. Flash, ah. Oh. Yeah, I'm officially a double A cup. Hope you guys have a great day. Go pet a dog. Love you guys, bye.